It's an exclusive nine on your side special report. For years, coastal hog farms have been under fire from local communities for their impact on the environment and their interruption to daily life for coastal residents. WNCT's Bailey Martin takes us inside the industry to find out how the farms have threatened local waterways and what they say is being done to help combat the environmental problem. Bailey joins us from our Jacksonville studio. Bailey, what can you tell us? Shayla, Ken, for years environmentalists have pushed back against the hog industry and its negative environmental impacts. But the North Carolina Pork Council says that a new program taking place on some Duplin County hog farms could be the solution to some of these problems. How do we justify what we're doing? It's, it's a, a, a combination of, of disgust, amazement, just disbelief. You may have heard these farms referred to as factory farms, but their technical term is CAFO, or Concentrated Animal Feeding Operation. Each of these operations houses thousands of hogs at a time. Eastern North Carolina is, has the highest concentration of hogs in the United States. We're number two in production with about nine million. The farmers who run these CAFOs are under contract with big companies like Smithfield and Murphy Brown. They don't own the animals, but they are responsible for raising them, growing them to full size as quickly as possible, and then sending them out to be turned into meat. The farmers are also responsible for the waste the pigs produce. All of the fecal waste produced by all of the people every day in the states of North Carolina, California, New York, Texas, Pennsylvania, New Hampshire, and North Dakota. But if you combine the poultry capos along with the swine capos that we have in eastern North Carolina, that's how much fecal waste they're producing each and every day. The waste is collected in lagoons connected to the barns and is sprayed onto the farmer's fields as fertilizer. The problem is that the bacteria from hog waste creates chemicals like nitrogen and ammonia. The plants can't take in all these chemicals, and the excess runs off into local waterways when it rains. If you have an open cut, don't go swim in it. If you see a bunch of dead fish floating around, don't swim in it and call me. And also don't drink it. Some Duplin County hog farmers are hoping to curb this problem by working with Cavanaugh and Associates to cover the lagoons and capture the methane gas within them to convert it into reusable energy. At its max peak, this bubble holds about 15 feet of biogas underneath of it from about 10,000 hogs on this farm. Biogas engineer Gus Simmons says this program is good for the environment. It's absolutely a positive for the environment. So. Uh, we are uh, again recovering uh, the, the organic carbon that's in the, the manure and the liquids uh, that has historically been uh, uh, not utilized to its fullest most beneficial potential. Uh, and so this process allows us to uh, increase the degree of recycling the manure resource for the farm. But News River Keeper Katie Langley says it doesn't solve the problem. The nitrogen is not being, it's not being what's called scrubbed, it's not being cleaned, so we're still getting the same amount of nitrogen released, and we're still getting the same amount of pollution. Simmons says the methane gas produced can power about a thousand homes per year with high quality fuel. What we find continuously is the gas is very, very dry, there's no moisture in it, and it's got a very high purity of methane. We're uh, producing gas that's a greater com com composition of methane than the natural gas that's already in the pipeline. But the remaining waste is still returned to farmers and sprayed onto fields. The farmers are supposed to avoid spraying fields when it's raining or supposed to rain. But we captured footage from the air of one farm spraying the fields as the rain was coming down. The Department of Ag's Soil and Water Conservation Department do a yearly inspection and that's it. They, the facilities get the notification, we're coming on this date, we're going to do our inspection. And that gives them plenty of time to clean up. A statement sent today by the North Carolina Pork Council reads in part, hog farms in North Carolina are highly regulated by the state and farmers must hold permits that prohibit any runoff from the farms. Hog farms use manure as a natural fertilizer that helps grow healthy crops using a process that is scientifically calculated to provide nutrients for the soil in an environmentally conscious manner. Bailey Martin, Nine on Your Side.